Okay, I'm going to show you how to measure up for roller blinds. First of all, inside recess fit, which basically means in here, we want to see first of all how far our window handle sticks out. In our case, it's 40 mil. So um, our roller blind will want to come from the window frame, say 60 mil or six centimeters. Um, just see where six centimeters is, and then measure at the top the width. Um, this needs to be reasonably accurate. It needs to be given as a recess size so that we can make deductions for the brackets and so forth to actually fit in there. You don't need to make unless your windows are well out. Uh, just check the other measurements and as long as it's within like 10 or 15 mil then take the top measurement as being the gospel for the blinds. So the top measurement Normally what happens is when the, when the window reveals are plastered, the plaster will finish off at the top anyway, so the top is more than likely going to be the slightly smaller measurement. Um, that's the one that we want. So basically get that measurement, then the drop, and write it down and always give us width first and then drop. Decide which side you want the control side on. Again, in this case, control side on the right hand side because if we had it on the left, windows open, the control chains uh, blowing back and forth out of the window and regularly get shut, shut in the window and broken. So that's how to measure up for recess size roller blinds. Um, I'm also going to show you how to measure up for outside recess roller blinds. Um, basically, some people like to put roller blinds on the outside. Um, it's a bit of a DIY measure because why have them on the outside when you can have them on the inside? Unless, of course, you're having blackout roller blinds. Now, a blackout roller blind is better fitted on the outside because um, it can overlap and come down the sides like so, so the material is overlapped either side, stopping more light from coming through. Whereas if a blackout roller blind is fitted inside the recess, because of the controls and the uh, mechanism and the brackets, the, the actual material is about one and a half to two centimetres short of the reveals, so the light will come through there. And it's surprising how much light comes in around the edges if you've got blackout material. Um, so basically if you're measuring up for uh, outside recess fitting we will want cloth size, not exact blind size, because exact blind size means bracket to bracket basically. You want cloth size. Need to establish how far you want to overlap with the cloth. I mean as a rule, probably to the ends of your window sills. So if you measure your window sills and maybe add on a centimetre, that will give you your cloth size width. And then as far as drop is concerned, measure from your sill upwards uh, to the top and add two inches on above, maybe three, it's entirely up to you. And maybe a couple of inches from the sill. If it's a meter, if the drop is a meter, you want 50 mil above, 1050, and 50 mil below, 1100. Size 1100. So uh, cloth size, however much you want to overlap here, by drop, two inches above, two inches below. And that's how you measure up for outside recess.